I do an early video. Not many people about. The bus. I just got off the bus down there. Um, oh, that's a good idea. They got bags. Look, see, like traffic lights. Bags. Never seen that before. So there we go. Scenes of. Uh, Sand Bay. Today I'll be going up past Sand, B Sand Farm, past this big silos, the big towers, going that way across. Now, what happened once, the last time I did this walk it didn't turn out. Now I'm glad it didn't because I was actually quite low in mood. It was pre-Christmas and uh, I don't know there's it was, it was a lot happening and uh, I'm alright now but uh, and I was going down with a really bad cold I didn't know at the time exactly. I was going to be quite unwell with this bad cold all over Christmas. So a whole video I did uh, and I, like I said I'm glad it didn't turn out because I was probably moaning a hell of a lot I do though it was a reflection it's something I'd rather forget I think so in a way the camera did me a favour for some reason it wiped it all out I got I, in fact I got back here to the bus and before I, and it suddenly said about erasing like it does when you want to format and I thought well I haven't asked for it to do it and I I didn't I tried to stop it but uh, it wouldn't anyway this is a small walk over there we've got wells we've got um, flat home steep home sand point it's a lovely day there's no wind and although I had contemplated going to Winscombe and doing a circular walk where I'd have to walk to Cheddar because there's no bus anymore. 126 doesn't exist. You can only get as far as Winscombe and then you have to walk to Cheddar. So uh, there is a bus from Axbridge but I don't know how that one works. If you've got to pay or if it's just for local people I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I've been cut off. But if I can get, I'd have to pay for an earlier bus. I could pay for an earlier 51, but it's enough complicated though. It, it would mean that day I'd have to get three or four different buses in order to do the walks I used to do. I'd have to get the 51, walk to Axbridge, Get up this other, get this other little bus, which will take me to places like Wells, Westbury Sub Mendip, Draycott. So there is a possibility of me still doing it, but in order to fit a walk in that's a bit bigger, I'd have to pay for the first part of the first part of the bus journey because um, oh, there wouldn't be time otherwise to make the connections and everything. Anyway, um, and I haven't worked out how far it would take me to walk from Winscombe to Cheddar yet, or Winscombe to Axbridge yet. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I think it would be a good hour at least, if not more. But I don't know yet. Um, that was one plan for today to do that. Um, but I thought, well, if it's very cold and I have to hang about waiting for a bus, or a bus doesn't turn up, which is now a worry for me after the Quantock experience where one they went on strike and they, they let me get on and then they told me when I got to my destination that there probably wouldn't be a bus to pick me up and I thought that was terribly wrong. They should have told me before I got before I paid my or showed my card. And they didn't. He never said a thing. And there was nothing on the bus stop to warn you there was a strike. Yeah, I was. I still feel I should have complained. 
anyway, so that is a bit of anxiety after that. So I'm going to just come turn off for a minute so people come in. I'll come back right on then, in a minute. So back on. I see they fenced that house has got its privacy back. They fenced it off now because before the cars to the caravan park would go that way. Now that they have to come in through that gate and go down there. So they got their privacy back. I suspect they had to fight for that. And, and then somebody's got a little bit of reason to put this concrete path here because I expect they're going to expand the caravans out the back, don't you? I expect that's what's going to happen. So it used to be a little thin path here and over there you've got the caravan park. I don't know if you, I've never seen tents but it could be that you can put your tent there as well, I don't really know. So anyway, we've got a concrete path. I've just seen somebody. I just got to see where the old path's gone. <sighs> I don't want to walk into a load of mud. Um, footpath. It's just right. Where do we go from here? Across there, I think. Yeah, there's the old pond. Yeah, they're tidying it up a bit as it was um, making it quite tidy now. I think I, I can walk across here. Or do I go around that way? I don't know. This looks like a footpath. I expect they'll, what they'll do, they'll... Uh, Make it more evident there's a footpath. That says private over there. Right, um, so you've just got to sort of balance your way through, Sheena. This way. Not quite sure where we go from here. Um, do you think you can go that way? I don't want to get my feet wet. These shoes aren't brilliant. clear where the footpath is, is it? There is when you get over there. There is when you get over here. Oh! Uh. Alright, I just don't want to get in a bog. How am I going to get over there? Without getting soaked. Alright, a minute. That looks quite firm there. There, there. Oh. I don't really know where the proper footpath's gone. I think you've got to get over this. Ah. Just walk up here on the harder ground for a minute. Maybe they'll put a footpath in, a proper footpath. I don't know. It's alright, we found dry ground. I don't want to get all bogged down, do you? Know, no, I don't. It's only across this bit. It's very swampy here, look. You're probably supposed to wear wellies when you come here, probably. Alright, wait a minute. Let's see. I'm videoing this so that people can see what I'm... Um, having to cope with. I don't really want to end up in a bog. You see what I mean? That's it. I 
I think we're back on normal ground now. Let's go over there. That's it. Back on normal ground. I videoed this because one day this will probably be sculptured. It is a right of way. Not many people knew about it, I think. I mean, I think when I started videoing this walk, um, when I started videoing here, that's very boggy. It's a lovely day, do you know what? There's no wind. Now, this would have made the perfect day, like I was talking about my cheddar walk. That's the good thing about doing a video. Across the little stroll bridge. Any cars? Because I'd have to go back if there were cows. Not a fine. This is what, another reason I've got to do these walks over Winscombe Way. Is I've got fields that I can only do this time of year. When it's not the season of the cow. Uh, I have risked walk walking through herds of bullocks before and it's dangerous to be quite honest. It is not good and I don't do it. I did it once and it was absolutely scary. And I made it to the gate, thank God. Because they were very curious. First of all, they were sort of more scared of me and they sort of didn't bother with me. But they soon became curious. As soon as I got to the gate, they, they started coming up. So I was so glad I got through there. So there's a field there I want to do. That will be part of a circular walk from Winscombe, which will be the new base. I've often used Winscombe as a base anyway. Like if I go to Crook's Peak, I usually get off at Winscombe and walk back up to Crook's Peak to lock in, Loxton I mean, and then to Hutton. And sometimes I get the bus from Hutton home. And you can only do that up to six o'clock. There's no bus services in the evenings. Um, that's been, that it denies you an evening experience when you're out really. When I had my van I used to go to Holford Go on the Quantots and I'd still be walking at 8 in the evening because I have my van. It's just scary. I do want to get a vehicle again. I think I've got to have one one more time. Because I know as I get older I won't want to drive. But there are places I can't get to unless I have a car. I can't. Like visiting the villages up in Suffolk. In Cambridgeshire, they don't have regular bus services in these places. They're out in the sticks, where my ancestors are buried. You know, I've been doing, with the bad weather we had for most of January, in fact this is probably the, the second good day of January, um, with sun. I'm writing it on the calendar every time it's sunny. I did it last year. <sighs> yeah. I can't remember what I was saying now. But basically, <sighs> I need to get out and enjoy the sunshine. And I'm, I want to do more family tree while I can. Yeah, that's what I was saying. While I'm still able. I don't mind using coaches and buses and trains. <sighs> But um, in the future, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like to be able to camp up, up Suffolk Way and be able to do the circular walks through the churches that where my ancestors lived, buried, married, baptised. I'd like to get some, there's walks between the villages. I did one once. I did um, Borough Green, Carlton, um, and somewhere around Brinkley and then back to Borough Green. Yeah, that was a lovely walk. But there's also walks from Dullingham. And, uh, yeah. There we go. There's goats over there. Ditches are still here. This field looks so different when you come through there now. As I think I did describe before on a video. 
over there you've got um come on everyone what's that called come on you ought to know by now those that follow me but because i don't always share the videos that's the st augustine's priory over there that middle hope I've been in there this year, so I'm not worried about going in there that often. I would love to do the tower one day. Now I'm just looking for where there's um, perhaps an easier place to cross where there's no water. But either way I go, I'd have to walk through that and get wet. So let's see if we can get across here. It's quite deep. We need to find the... Yeah, that's quite, that's quite deep as well, isn't it? I mean, you could balance, hold on and balance going across there. I think what I'm going to have to do is walk. I am going to walk, have to walk up here to see where the shortest way across is. Because I haven't got wellies on. I'll have wet feet very soon because this right foot. I think I can get over here. Wait a minute. We'll have to go from here, Sheila. You'll have to remember this. There we go, we can follow this way. They'd love, to, they'd love to get rid of the original track, I think, these people. The original track comes from that, come there and goes across there. But look, they've already put fencing up here. So I reckon what they'll do, they'll take away that track there from us. The old track that we've used for many years. And we'll, we'll all have to walk over here. I think that's what's going to happen. That's what I think. And uh, the, I don't mind the horses having the land. More boglet. This, these ditches are necessary though. They mustn't fill them in. They cope with the flooding. Next time I come then, there's always something different every time I come here. Some goats there. Somebody's been given this land and uh, I don't, video I don't know if the it. last video came out. <laughs> not sure if I pressed the button. I'm just saying all this was done over the past year and some of these horses I've been speaking to for quite a while. There just used to be a little shed which has now moved over there where they used to store hay. The other side of that bush they've got land as well now. But if it's being used for horses and grazing, you think to yourself, well, at least as long as they let us walk through. You know, not to get rid of all these lovely walkways, which some people are doing. Now on Dartmoor now, some landowner, who haven't been the owner for long, went to the High Court and now wild camping, the only place in... England where you could do that has been banned you can no longer wild camp on Dartmoor you've got to go to designated campsites it's because some people the reason that's happened people have been leaving their human feces behind um, fires frightening the animals they say and uh, so you will sometimes always there's always been the odd few that do that most campers are very serious campers are good and they t take their rubbish with them there we go that's probably another way in to a campsite there hello oh, what a lovely lovely coat you've got on wow aren't you so beautiful darling you got your smart coat on. You sunbathing? Are you? Oh, aren't you beautiful, darling? You don't have to get up. I want to take a picture of you. Oh, 